Trick Golf Tuesday. Trick Golf Tuesday. But not from the Dollar Tree. Yes. Today I actually went to CVS to trick off the Dollar Tree. I went there, y'all. They was cleaning the whole store. I sat outside for about 40 minutes and I just did the halfway that I'm gonna have to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for my Dollar Tree haul, coupon and haul tomorrow. But today I ended up going to CVS because again, Dollar Tree was closed and I got a lot of great stuff. Y'all know I have my coupons. I'm not even going to hold y'all though. Let's get started. First, let me show you some deals that I put together while I was inside CVS and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, out of, I'm done at CVS and I just want to go over some of my deals. The Mitchum um, is buy two, get a... The Mitchum is buy one, get one half off. So one is $4.79 and I think the other one no, one is five nineteen, and then the other one is four nineteen, four seventy nine. So it'll be about eight dollars out of pocket. No coupons for the Mitchum, but I use Mitchum, so eh, it's all right. So it'll be six dollars out of pocket after my extra care bucks, or three dollars a piece. All right. So for my um, cosmetic deal, this is going to be all one purchase. So I use these Kiss um, press on nails. It's spend 10, so these are $4.99 a piece, so it's spend 10. Get a $3 extra care buck back, so there'll be $7 for both, or $3.50 per um, box of press on nails. These mink lashes, I wear these also. They're um, $16.59 or something like that. And when you spend $12 in Ardell, you get $4 back. So I'm gonna spend twelve dollars out of pocket for the mink lashes after the um after the extra care bucks, but then I always also have this three off twelve, so it's gonna take three more dollars off that purchase. All right, the Maybelline is buy two, get a six dollar extra care buck. These are four ninety nine a piece, so that's ten. And then I have this five dollar extra care buck, so I'm gonna spend five dollars out of pocket, and I'm gonna get six dollars back. The Irish Spring deal is um, buy three, get a $5 extra care buck back. So these are $4.99 a piece. So three of them will be $12. Minus, um, I have three 75 cent off coupon. So that's minus um, $1.50. So that's gonna be $10.50 out of pocket. And then I have these. Two off six, so that's minus four dollars. So that's gonna be six dollars and fifty cent out of pocket. And then I have uh oh six dollars and fifty cent out of pocket, and then I'm gonna get a five dollar extra care buck back, making a dollar fifty for all three or fifty cent a piece. So I don't know. The sure deal is spend two dollars is two dollars, and then you're gonna get a two dollar extra care buck back, so it'll be free after the extra care bucks. The Lady Speed Stick is two for six. And then I have this dollar off. I mean, 50 cent off. So I have two of them. So make them two for five. And then I have another dollar off. Make them two for four. And then let me see. I don't know if you get anything. Oh, two for four. And then you get a $3 extra care buck back, making them 50 cent a piece. My Pantene deal, I'm still on the fence about the Pantene deal because my out of pocket is going to be too expensive, but I'll still go through it. Pantene is included in the PNG deal. So these products here are new products. So I got four of them. They're two for 14. So I got four. That's, that's $28. Plus I got this one Pantene, two and one shampoo and conditioner. I like that. That's $5.19. So that's gonna make my total about $33. And then I have the dollar off. I have the dollar off that one. So it's gonna make it 32. Then I have a $4 off. That's gonna make it 28. And then I have two $5 off coupons. That's gonna make my out of pocket 18. And then I'm gonna get a $10 extra care buck back. 
making my out of pocket eight dollars for all items or about two dollars a piece two four six eight about a little less than two dollars a piece i don't know if i'm gonna do that deal i'm still on the fence about that one too all right all right johnson and johnson is buy one get one half off i did this deal last week too so these are 4.79 and then the second one is uh two dollars and forty cents so about seven dollars out of pocket for each item i also got this bedtime lotion my grandbaby i mean my daughter loved putting this on my grandbaby so she has the shampoo or the bubble bath or whatever so she don't have a lotion so i got the lotion this time that one is 5.99 so 5.99 then the other one is half off so that's six plus two so i'm gonna be spending seven plus eight so i'm gonna be spending fifteen dollars out of pocket and then i got these two dollars and fifty cent coupons so it's gonna take five dollars off making my out of pocket about ten dollars no extra care bucks back for the johnson and johnson deal i just got that deal because well i use those every day so i might as well use the coupon on them because they usually don't come out with the coupon as much all right so with the crest deal this Crest toothpaste is $6.99. This is some new toothpaste. I got a lot of items that I've never used before. That's what I wanted to get this week. And then I got this uh, Fortifying Mineral. These are both whitening uh, toothpaste. They're on sale for $6.99. So that'll be $14 for both. And then I have these two $3 off coupons. So it's gonna take um, $6 off, leaving my out of pocket eight. And then I'm gonna have this $4 off 14 crest, leaving my out of pocket $4. And then I'm gonna get a $4 extra care buff back, making that free. All right, so with the Listerine, um, I barely buy mouthwash because I ain't really in the mouthwash, but when it's free, I buy it. So um, the small one is $4.59. The bigger one, I wanna say is $8. Yeah, I think it's $8.59, so that's $12 minus two make it ten <clears throat> minus two more dollars make it eight and then i got this three off 15 make it five and then i get a six dollar extra care but making that free and a dollar money maker i think i'm gonna put this three off 12 with it i don't know if that's gonna work with it but if so that's gonna make it a um money maker a five dollar money maker all right, the Olay, I always throw away these coupons for Olay. So I guess I'm gonna try to use it since they came out with some ex some different products. They have this exfoliating body wash, sea salt body wash. I like exfoliating body wash, so I'm gonna try that. And then I always like the o Olay soap. So they're on sale this week, two for 12. I have these $2 off coupons from the PNG that just came out on Sunday. So that's making it two for 10. And then I have this three off 12 any body wash that's making it $7 or um, $3.50 a piece. Again, I've never tried it, so I'm gonna try it. No extra care bucks back for that. Okay, my next deal is this Garnier Critique. They're on sale two for seven. And then you get a $2 extra care buck back. I have this $3 off coupon, making it two for four. And then I'm gonna get a $2 extra care buck back, making it $2 a piece or a dollar per um, leave-in condition. I love this leave-in conditioner by Garnier. I love that, so I'm stocking back up with that. All right, so L'Oreal deal, they're two for eight. And then I have this, um, they're two for, yeah, the L'Oreal is two for eight. And then I have this $3 coupon off, making them two for five. And then you get a $3 extra care buck back, making them $2 for two or a dollar per shampoo. All right, and this is how my cart looks. All right, off to the register. All right, so I did three transactions in CVS. This is the first one. This is the second one. And then this is the third one over there behind behind the second one. All right, so we're going to start with the first deal. The first deal I did was um, the deal for 
the pet uh the spend 30 get a ten dollar extra care book now i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real with y'all i stopped buying shampoo like last year i literally got like enough shampoo probably to last me two years just to be honest so i stopped buying shampoo that's why i haven't bought in, in any of my hauls i don't have any shampoo like from cvs i mean i might pick it up from the dollar tree if it's free or cheap but other than that i haven't bought shampoo from cvs in a long time so i pretty much was throwing away those coupons for the last four or five months or whenever so um pantene came out with a new line that i was interested in trying and so this is why I got that line. A lot of things I bought this um in this haul was stuff that I just really wanted to try. I mean, we all at home in quarantine. So why not try new products and see if you like them? So the Pantene is included in the P&G deal. If you spend $30, you're going to get a $10 extra care buck back. So I did my whole deal with Pantene. Pantene is, spend, uh, is two for 14. So I got four items. I got these four items. I got the sulfate free shampoo, which I heard is great for your hair. Uh, sulfate uh, in shampoo was not good, so I heard that was great. I got this fortifying damage repair. It says it has it's an overnight serum. I got this leave-in conditioner treatment. I love leave-in treatments. I always try leave-in treatments to see which one is best. And then I got this, what is this? nutrient blends what is it uh oh a moisturizer so i got the moisturizer plus the labeling on it is so pretty and then i got one bottle of pantene two-in-one shampoo i love this two-in-one shampoo if i'm in a rush i usually use that so i don't have to shampoo wait blah 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 for the conditioner the uh penetrate and all that all right so two for 14 so i got four of them makes it 48 i mean 28 dollars then I got this Pantene. The Pantene was $5.19. My out-of-pocket was about $23. I mean, I'm sorry. My out-of-pocket was $33. I had two $5 off coupons for this. It came into our last P&G. So I had, a, I had a total of $10 off this purchase. And then I used a dollar off Pantene for that one. So it took a $33. It took me down to $23. And then it took a dollar off. It took me down to $22. Then I had a four off 14 Pantene. It took me down to $18 out of pocket. And then I got a $10 extra care buck back. Now, I know that wasn't a great deal. I probably could have thought of a greater deal, but I always wanted to try these. Like I said, I've been seeing people haul them. I've been seeing commercials about them. So I was just like, hey, I might as well try it. It's a good coupon. So $8 for all five items or about a dollar and something cent per item and i got my 10 dollars extra care book back all right along with this deal i'm gonna throw these over here i'm gonna throw them over here all right along with this deal i got the irish spring the irish spring, spring is a great deal this week it's a buy buy three get a five dollar extra care book i bought three of them they're on sale for 3.99 so that my total came up to 12 dollars we're just gonna say 12 dollars I had three seventy-five cent off coupons, so it brought my total down to ten fifty. And then I had, I'm sorry, I had a three off twelve body wash from from so from from ten fifty. I had three dollars off, so it made my total seven fifty. Then I had a oh seven fifty. And then I got a $5 extra care book back, making my out-of-pocket $2.50 for all three of them or about 70 or about 80, 70 cent a piece, something like that, like 70 cent a piece for all three Irish Spring body washes. Now, I don't use Irish Spring. I usually get that away or I make baskets with them. So I'll be probably giving this away. I uh, The charcoal one smells great and the um, five-in-one smells great. So that was the deal with the Irish Spring. I got five dollars back for that. All right, Mitchum was on sale this week. We don't have any coupons for Mitchum. Wah wah wah. But it was buy one get one half off. One was um five. This one was five ninety nine. 
and this one was half off. So this one was half off four seventy nine. So two forty. So six dollars plus two forty. That's six dollars and forty cent. I didn't have any coupons for the Mitchell, but I got a two dollar extra care book back, making my final out of pocket four dollars and forty cent for each for both of them, or about two dollars and twenty cent each. Again, I wear Mitchell. I usually wear the green, but I switched to Mitchell and I like Mitchell. So I've been wearing Mitchell. This is the one that I've been wearing actually for the last month or so. This bamboo powder, zero aluminum. I've been wearing that one. So when they go on sale, I usually grab them. I really don't have to have a, nothing back. I'm glad it came with an extra care box. That's just one I'm happy about. All right. This, that was the end of my first purchase. This is how the receipt looks, the Pantene the Irish Spring, and the Mitchell. Here are my receipts. I mean, I'm sorry, here are my coupons. The three seventy-five cent off coupons for the Irish Spring. The two $5 coupons for the Pantene, the dollar off for the Pantene. Oh, I had a four off 18 hair care. I had a two off six body wash. I had my extra care bucks. Now I walked in this transaction with like $26 in extra care bucks. Mm-hmm. I had about $26 in extra care bucks, right? Let me see. 10, 19, 20, 26. No, $31 in extra care bucks is what I had for this transaction. I had $31 in extra care bucks, so that's why I did the most expensive um transaction first, so it can cover my whole out of pocket. After my extra care bucks, I had to pay $2.89 out of pocket. I got $10 back for the Pantene. I got $5 back for the Irish Spring. And I got $2 back for the Mitchum. So I got a total of $17 back for extra care bucks. I took that extra care bucks and I rolled it into this transaction. I took those $17 in extra care bucks and I rolled it into this transaction. So the Garnier Futis was two for seven. I used the $3 um, coupon that we got in our last insert. It just came out on Sunday. So that made my out-of-pocket four. And then I got a $2 extra care buck back, making my final out-of-pocket $2 or a dollar per Garnier Futis. All right, I got some more. Um, I got some more Johnson & Johnson's now. Again, I told you I was stocking up because I like when the coupons come out because, again, these are the only ones that I use on my face. And then my daughter, she wanted to get the bedtime lotion because she has the body wash. So she wanted the lotion. So I grabbed that. The Johnson & Johnson is still on sale. Buy one, get one half off. So these are $4.79. This one is $2.40. $4.79. This stuff was $5.99. So $5.99, $2.40. So my total out of pocket was, final. my total out of pocket was about $13.60. I had two $2 off, I had two $2 and 50 cent off coupons for Johnson and Johnson. So that took off $5. So that made my out of pocket about $8. And yeah, that was my out of pocket. So about $2 per item, two for yeah, about $2 per item, which again, this is something that I use. So I wasn't even tripping about that. So the Johnson and Johnson didn't have no extra care bucks back or nothing. It was just buy one, get one, half off. All right, this was a surprising deal. I didn't really, I told y'all I liked it that $3 off coupon that if I found a deal, I was gonna get this. Um, It didn't pan out the way I wanted to, but it is what it is. So the Crest is on sale, but I don't know about the rest of them, but this Crest was $8.59, was on sale for $6.99. And if you bought two of them, you got a $4 extra care buck back. So I got two of them, that's $14. I had two $6 off coupons that brought my total to $8. And then I had a four off 14 crest that made my total $4 out of pocket. And then I got a $4 extra care buck making my crest 3D white Too Faced free, honey. Yes, free. And they got the charcoal, charcoal with the tea tree oil. Hmm. I might try that one. And this one is again a whitening therapy. They sound interesting. $8.59 to free. That's a great deal. And when I said it didn't work out for me, I had a three off 12 toothpaste that I thought was gonna come off. 
the computer rejected it. So I thought it was gonna be a money maker, but the computer rejected it. Okay, y'all, I finally was able to use my Olay coupons. Y'all, I told y'all in the last video that I just throw them away, but I found a deal, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. So, it ain't the best deal, because Olay, I don't know why they don't never really give back no money for Olay, like extra care bucks or nothing. Olay just go on sale. It never really give back extra care bucks. So, that's why I just be throwing those coupons away, but I decided to use them this time. So, the Olay is going to sell two for 12. They got this new Olay. It's the exfoliating moisture. I love exfoliating body wash. It makes my skin feel so great. I've never tried this one, so I said, let me try to exfoliate no Olay. And I got this uh, Age Define Olay. That smells so great. Two for 12. In our PNG, we have dollar coupons, so they took off $2. So they make it two for 10. I had a two off 12 body wash. So they make it two for eight. And then that was it. I didn't have no other extra care, but he didn't get back no extra care, but so basically $4 per um, product. Again, it's something I'm trying. I like Olay soap. So I guess $4 for that is what is it, the six pack $4 for a six pack and yeah, the Olay. All right. All right. Sure. The sure is $2. If you purchase one, you're going to get a $2 extra care book back. So that makes that free. Free, sure, the order. No coupons. All right. The L'Oreal. The L'Oreal LV. They were on sale. So two for eight. And if you bought two of them, you're going to get a $3 extra care book back. I had a coupon that was in our previous inserts for $3. The ones that just came out on Sunday. So they made it two for five. And then I got a $3 extra care buck back, making them two for $2 or a dollar per shampoo. This L5, it's okay. It ain't, my, it ain't the greatest one, but it'll do for a dollar. Here was the Listerine. The Listerine was on sale. On sale, if you spend 10, you're going to get a $5 extra care buck back. We had dollar coupons in a previous insert before this Sunday. So not this Sunday, the last Sunday. We have dollar um coupons. So this one, the bigger one was $7.29. And then this one was $4.19. So I spent about $11 out of pocket. I took my $2, $2 off coupons. My, my I took a dollar, I used a dollar per bottle um a listerine coupon. So that took two dollars off, making my out of pocket nine. And then I had a two off eight in listerine. I had a two off eight listerine. Taking two more dollars off, making my out of pocket seven. And then I got a five dollar extra care book back, making my out of pocket two dollars or a dollar per mouthwash. This is the mouthwash that I like actually. Listerine. I like Listerine. I like Listerine actually better than Crest or Colgate. So um we really don't use a lot of Listerine. I mean, we don't use a lot of mouthwash, period. So this probably gonna last all year. And my final deal in that transaction was the baby lips. The Maybelline is on sale. If you buy two, you're going to get a, uh, if you spend 12, no, I'm sorry. If you buy two, you're going to get a $6 extra care buck. The baby lips is the cheapest um, thing. Now, I didn't have any more coupons for the Maybelline baby lips. If I did, I didn't feel like looking for them because I didn't, couldn't even pinpoint what um, insert they were in. So if you know what insert the Maybelline um, lip products, this is going to be a money maker for you. For me, I just took it as it is. So two Maybellines, they were $10. These are $4.99 a piece. They were $10. And then I used, I didn't use nothing. So the baby lips was $10. And then I got back $6 for the Maybelline. Make my out of pocket $4 or $2 per lip balm. All right. That was the end of that transaction. So here's my receipt for my second transaction. The Garnier Futis, the Olay, the L Vibe, the Sure, the expensive Bougie Crest 3D, the Johnson & Johnson's Baby Wipes, and the Bath Lotion, and the Listerine. Here are my coupons that I use. Here are my extra care books.
Oh, I had an extra $5 off coupon uh, from my previous transaction. Uh, we had to re-ring the first transaction because um, my $5 extra care but adjusted down to $2.60. And who's trying to lose money? Ain't nobody trying to lose no money. So I asked him, can he re-ring it? Because, you know, my calculations probably was a little off. So I didn't want to lose what? two dollars and sixty cent or forty cent i didn't want to lose that so i could have paid that in cash so he ran re rang my first transaction and gave my five dollars back so i went into this transaction actually with twenty two dollars this is my subtotal nineteen dollars and thirty two cent out of pocket and then i got back i got back two for the fruit uh guardian fruit tea I got back 12, I mean, I got back four for the crest. I got back two for the L'Oreal. I got back 10 for the Listerine. And I got back two. So let's see, how much was that? So that was 10. So I got back $15. <clears throat> so I spent $19 out of pocket and got back $15 in extra care bucks making that transaction about $4 out of pocket. All right. My last and final transaction was just things that I like, you know, things that I buy and I still have some extra bucks left. Usually I, the stuff that I really, really like that ain't really giving, I ain't got no coupon for and I just want it because, well, I just want it. So I bought some more lashes. I like these lashes again. Our deal is on sale, spend 12 Get a $4 extra care book back. These are $16. I spent $16 out of pocket. I got $4 back. So making my out of pocket for my mink lashes, $12. The Lady Speed Stick. <clears throat> stick was on sale, two for six. I had two fifty cent off coupons. Made it two for five. And then I got back a $3 extra care book. Making my final pocket, my final out of pocket, two for $2 or a dollar per Lady Speed Stick. And then I had these Kiss press-ons, which I guess one day I'm going to get to my nails. I'm way behind in doing beauty things to me. So I bought some more nails. Um, the Kiss was, if you spend 10, you're going to get a $3 extra care book back. These first, this first box was $8.49. The second ones were $4.99. So I spent about $12 out of pocket. And then I got $3 back. So making my out-of-pocket $9 for both boxes of press on. All right. So that is the end of that transaction. Let me show you the receipt for that. All right. So that's the receipt for that. The Lady Speed Stick, the Maybelline, the Kiss Nails, the Fake Lashes. And I bought two face masks. Our CVS now has face masks. So I just said I need two of them. I don't know. Just in case I need them. They're high as heck though. One ninety nine for one little plastic face mask. They look like this. Let me show them to you. These had a face mask look. These little cheap face masks. You're probably gonna have to put two or three of these on, or maybe four. But they are one ninety nine. So check your local CVS. They are selling face masks. At least mine is. All right. So these are my coupons. Oh, I had a five dollar off. Um, on a Maybelline, um, baby lips, I forgot. I had a $5 off cosmetic. So that made my out of pocket $5. And then I got $6 back for the Maybelline making those free plus a dollar money maker. Oh, I also had a three off 12. We're going to say those came off of the, off the whole deal. Let's just say $3 came off the whole deal. I had a dollar off, uh, the speed stick. I forgot about that. So the lady speed stick was two off, two for six. I had two fifty cent off coupon, making them two for five, and then I had a dollar off speed lady speed stick, making it two for four, and then I got a three dollar extra care buck back, making them a uh, dollar for both or fifty cent per um, lady speed stick. These are my extra care bucks, and then I was emailed a twenty five cent off um, oral shave shampoo personal care. So it took another $5 off. So my out of pocket was $19.91. Minus the two face masks. The face masks were $4. So if you take that off, my out of pocket was $15. So 
So I paid $15 out of pocket and then I still got my extra care book. So I still got three. That was for the Ardell. That was for the Lady Speed Stick. That was for the Kiss Nails. Then I got a $6 for Maybelline. So I got a total of $15 back in extra care bucks. So this transaction was free after my extra care buck. Now, let me tell y'all something. I felt like... Now, I went to my CVS. This, this, this week was a lot better. Let's start there. Because I went to my normal CVS. I just wasn't in the mood to go to the mad store today. I went to the good store. Um, as always, they're really helpful. Like I said, when I asked him to re-ring, he re-ringed it for me. Because, in a, you know, he he's, he's, he's a great cashier. He's never, like, fussy. He know what it is. We got coupons. All right. So, he's a great cashier. I like him. So he 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 re rang it for me. Everything went smooth. I did three transactions. When he seen people in the line, the manager came out. She rang up the people that were standing in line, which is usually how it should go. All right. So <clears throat> that's not what my rent is about. My rent, my uh, uh, register. I mean, my transaction at the register was smooth. This is what my rent is about. I feel like people are trying to give me the virus. Now, I don't know if I should be saying this or not, but this is just my thoughts on it. I make sure I go into like the aisle where ain't nobody gonna come to. Like I'm in an aisle where like the canes are. Now, I've never seen anybody buy a cane out of CVS. I'm just be honest. So I went back there in like that little area where the canes are and I don't know what else is on that little show, but I'm like almost pretty much in the back of the store, like right before you get to the pharmacy. So. It's a little area that, like I said, people aren't really going to be shopping at. So I try to stay, like, over there in that area while I'm getting my transactions together. Today, I just felt like people was trying to give me the virus because, okay, at one point, I took my mask off because I couldn't breathe. I was getting hot and I was getting irritated. So I took my, ma my mask off at one point. Soon as I took my mask off, y'all already know. A uh, older man came and stood right next to me. I'm talking about he stood so close to me. If I would have moved my arm, I would have bumped him. So now I move like away from him because I'm like, what is he standing next to me for? So he's acting like he's like looking at whatever is on the shelf, which really isn't anything. I know he's not going to pick up because that's just be honest. CVS items are high than a mofo fo. So you ain't going to pick up no cane or nothing else from here. You better go to Walmart or Target or order it online, Amazon. Okay, so I move away from him. He did have a mask on, and he had the correct mask on, which was okay. Um, but my thing was this. Why did you come and stand next to me for? Like, well, what are you doing here? So he was like, well, uh, he said, do you, do you work here? I said, no. Now, again, I'm like six feet away from him because I didn't move away. He like, okay. He like, um, so these are 40 cent. Like, I know he said, so these are 40% off. So I looked, cause I had never, I wasn't even paying attention to the, like the price tag on them cause I'm not about to buy them. So he like, these are 40%. So I'm like, he's like, these are 40% off. So I'm like, eh, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. So he's like, oh, okay. So then he looked at it for about another second or two and he leave. All right. So now I pulled my cart back over to the section cause I got like my coupon spread it out. I'm, you know, getting my whole little transactions together. Another person come and stand right next to me. So now I'm like, I'll be doggone. So now I move the cart again. So I'm like, what is going on here? People, so I put my mask back on. So now I put my mask back on. She's looking at me, like getting my transaction together. So now I move away from her. Like I, I move my whole buggy away from her. So she's like, oh, you coupon? So I'm like, she don't even have a mask on, y'all. She didn't even have a mask on. So I move further away from her. So she's like, um, yeah, I said, yeah, I coupon. So then, why she start asking me questions, y'all? Like, this ain't the time or the place to ask me questions, lady. I'm just not in the mood today. I mean, I'm trying to get in here and get out of here. I've been in here too long. I'm not trying to talk through this mask. I can't breathe. I ain't in the mood. So, so I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, I keep on, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I told her my, you know, my, my channel or whatever, my channel name. And she's like, oh, okay. She's like, so where do you get the coupons from? I said, I'll be doggone. I said, the Sunday, the local newspaper, the Sunday local newspaper. Because I'm still trying to be nice 
But in a way, she's irritating me because, lady, get, move around. I'm trying to live here. All right, so after a while, she's like, okay, thank you for giving me the information. She's like, I'll check out your channel, you know, or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. Do y'all know, after I pulled my buggy back in that area, a man came over there and asked me the same thing. Do I work here? No, I don't work here. Oh, okay. Would you happen to know where... I think he asked me for some kind of medicine, cortisone or something. I'm like, nope, I'm not familiar. Maybe if the guy up front can lead you, I don't really know. So he's like, oh, okay. So in my mind, I'm like, let me hurry up and get up out of here. Because these people are trying to give me the virus, y'all. And I'm not on that today. All right, so I boogied on up front, and I had a great transaction. Everything went smooth. And this is how it all panned out. I walked into C this is how it all panned out. If I would have walked into CVS with no ECBs, no CVS coupons, no manufactured coupons, I didn't know about Fetch Rewards, I would have paid a total of $174.23 out of pocket. After my, after my coupons, ECBs, manufactured coupons, Fetch Rewards, I paid $38.04 out of pocket. I still got... $15 in extra care bucks. Fast Rewards gave me back $1.25. I'm getting back $3 on in beauty bucks. So my final out of pocket is $18.79. Who better? Who better? Nobody's better than Beauty Passion. $18.79 for $174 worth of products from CVS. I had a great haul this week. Other than the people trying to give me the coronavirus. Other than that, I had a great haul. I really appreciate it. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I will be going into the Dollar Tree. Hopefully, they still not cleaning. But I... Bought you a video. I bought you CVS early. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, my next video, I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway. I've reached 4,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it, y'all. I was talking about, I just was in shock. I cannot believe I got 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm just in awe. It's like it's not even really happening. When I started my channel, I didn't even know what really I was going to be talking about doing or whatever. But that was then and here is now. And I'm still here and I got 4,000 subscribers. So thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm doing a giveaway. I suppose to have been did a giveaway. But as you all know, it's been a little difficult in the world lately. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to get back to normal life. So everybody's trying to get back to normal life, but again, I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And hopefully the next video after Trick Off Tuesday is going to be a giveaway video. I'm going to give away some good things for reaching 4,000 subscribers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hecky now, Joe is beauty passion. And I'm out.